Welcome back guys to Stellaris. My name is Edogs82 and I'm back with the Goxie. So the people of Gox. And in our last episode we continued searching for that scientist, the physicist who had disappeared randomly. It's a bit of a random quest chain but I thought it was pretty cool and we found out that he may or may not have actually been in the spaceship that we were chasing. It was kind of like a ghost ship. Because when we went to apprehend him, he was not inside anymore. So that was a bit weird. But, um, yeah, we're back now. And it's time to continue on. Let's activate that building because our population is about to grow and start producing for us. Lovely. Okay, so our home planet of Yajra is pretty well tapped at the moment because we can't do too much being so, um, so slow to evolve, basically. Where is our fleet currently sitting? Okay, over there. Let's hit play and see what he can do. We're researching the colony development speed, so we're looking to colonize. We're going to get some missiles, get some colonial centralization so that we can get more planetary edicts and better capital and whatnot. But yeah, we got two science ships now to search the universe for us and we've got this guy over here who's our rival I believe the Oberdin Empire. Debris has been analyzed good. So we've got our spaceship our science ship hanging out. Go over there and survey please. What is he trying to do? Go to sleep, I guess. <laughs> Can we afford any new things? Requires spaceport level 2. Huh. Well, let's speed up a bit then and get the spaceport level 2. Research complete. Okay, our construction ship's over. We've got the new colony development speed thing. Um, what do I want to get now? Let's go for this. Red lasers. Transmission from Frankner Ista. We are receiving a transmission from Frankner Ista. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Diplomatic channels are now open, and all hostilities between us have ceased for the moment. Oh, it's a bird people. Cool. Greetings. I speak for Executive Skirid and the wealthy elite of the Uzet Galactic Commonwealth. We are always looking for new trading partners, and hopefully we can come to some sort of accommodation that will benefit the commerce of both our nations. Okay. Huh. Yeah, we'll fight for our uh, existence. <laughs> I forgot that those were like them. Okay, we've surveyed the system. Cool. These guys, wherever they are, let's take a look. Oh, they border us pretty closely. Let's communicate with them. And why won't they ally with us? Because they hate us. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to declare them a rival so that we can get more influence. They have two colonies, which is not good for me. Where are you, science ship? 
Okay, you're over there. Let's get you to survey this place. This guy has no scientist in him. Let's get you a scientist, okay? Hmm. This guy will be our anomaly guy. You can come to this system and survey that system. And now we will go to Yadarak again and see if we can get a spaceport level 2. What can we do with our edicts? Energy, land of opportunity, propaganda, where you get? Nah. All good. Don't need it. Nearly we can get it. We're so close. Just one more month away. Time to upgrade. Let's go take a look at our construction ship, see what he's doing. Oh, okay, you can move over here for the time being. You're in the Unix system. Do we have any cool designs for our guys? So apparently using nuclear missiles, fission reactors, let's take a look at this, striker core, interceptor, shifter, I want to go to striker core, there's nothing we can upgrade there, fission reactor, we have enough power now. Let's save that. Awesome. Defense platform. Yeah, we can do those. Okay, we're good for that. Let us end this charade. you construction ship are you within their space no but you're close okay we got the new the new lasers awesome um let's go for fusion power a okay, time to upgrade the ships yet again Let's give them a small red laser. And now we're going to say upgrade. It's not going to cost us anything, which System is survey. awesome. You, sir, are the awesome anomaly person. You're not going to go there? Okay. Interesting. Build that. Ah, <coughs> uh, yes, waiting for the spaceport to be upgraded. That'll be finished in 10 seconds time. Awesome. So now we can get the Corvette assembly yard, which will make us able to produce Corvettes quicker and cheaper. So we really need to get onto that as soon as possible because we can't let our competitors get ahead of us. Oh, this is the special Lord Axe Me Cat one. Because that's our leader, Lord Axe Me Cat. Nice. 
So we have 11 populations over with just one world. We're encouraging th free thought, nice. So that's speeding up our research, which is exactly what you want to do in the beginning. You want to be technologically advanced over everybody else, otherwise they'll start destroying you. So far I'm equivalent with everyone still. Okay, the research station is done. You go upgrade. You're still moving. You have a load of orders to do. Uh, let's nice. Let's go get you building over there. Come back to our ships. Looking cool, looking cool. Okay. Let's speed. No, let's not speed this up just yet. Let's go and take our new ships out and test them out on the enemy. Nice. We got some fission missiles. Nice, nice. Um, what do we want next? Let's get this destroyer thing. Having destroyers as early as possible is going to be good news. Yeah, I know that there's a hostile fleet present here. That's why I'm sending my own fleet after it. That's right, I can't FTL out of there. Warp impact. A massive crater on Duckalex appears to be a result of a collision with the starship. From the size of the crater, we suspect that a ship traveling at full warp rammed the planet for reasons unknown roughly 10,000 years ago. The ED Lorod Dekla has picked up residual subspace echoes near the crash site, reminiscent of a collapsed warp field. And as the ship itself disintegrated on impact, the theory cannot be verified. So we collected 60 physics research for that, which I'm happy with. And now we're coming after these crystal line enemies. Get them, boys. Nice, we're wrecking them. We're taking a few hits here and there, but we're still doing massive damage. after the battle. <laughs> oh no, we lost a ship. Okay. Nice job, guys. The crystalline entity is a new designation better reflecting their apparent status as a silicate yet animate matter are tough and aggressive adversaries. Our engagements have allowed us to pinpoint structural weaknesses that should theoretically be shared among all individual crystalline entities. This is fortunate as our fleets will need to engage with several more specimens if we are to learn anything about these enigmatic prisms. What we do know is that changes in levels of apparent aggression and the internal generation of power that drives their weapon-like discharge are accompanied by shifts in how the crystals break light. In essence, it is likely that Gox ships will eventually encounter crystalline entities in different colors and should be prepared for 
differences in behavior and combat capabilities. Okay. Well, let's get you over here to research that. We'll send you home to repair. And we'll fiddle around a bit with our new missiles. <laughs> And we'll have some fusion power. We haven't upgraded that yet. Save. Excellent. We'll go back to our construction ship. He's not doing anything at the moment. He can, however, come over here and build some mining stations. What the? Missing in action. Where the hell did he go? Oh dear. Don't tell me my enemies have taken him. Hmm. They're starting to close in around me. I need to do something. I need to colonize more. I have to, or at least put up a frontier outpost or two. Leviathans. Powerful guys. Don't want to mess with them if I don't have to. Ah, okay, we got the Iota aliens now. It's a space amoeba. Our fleet has been repaired. Breeze analyzed now good. Uh, you, sir. Do not go over there. <laughs> not yet. Or there either. That's a very hard one. Go get that research. Research that anomaly for us, please. Or just don't. That's good too. <laughs> How's Yadra doing? I can get the new Corvette assembly line. Good. We've got a population building up here. Let's build him a power plant. Okay. What I'm really worried about right now is um, these guys coming in and just wrecking me. So what I need to do is get them to <laughs> defend this part of space with an orbital station if I can. Why is it not moving?
strange. Okay. How much is it going to cost for a military station? You won't tell me how much. Perfect. <laughs> well, while I'm here, I'm going to upgrade the defense platform to using fusion missiles and red lasers. Let's give it an upgraded power boost. Toad asteroid. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into a stable orbit around Anuk 4. The massive engine uh, sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface. Although they have long since been rendered inoperable, <coughs> pardon me, inoperable, whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they began. Okay. Get some extra research. Okay, let's beat up on some space amoebas. Yes, let's save that. Okay, okay. I still cannot build that for whatever reason. Uh, have you, nope, you haven't surveyed over here, please do that. You can go survey over here, please. Still, no, no dice on that. How's our research doing? Oh, this guy's not researching anything. That's a blunder and a half. Ooh. Construction complete. I'm going to go for the green crystal capacitors. Okay, so we've constructed stuff and our population is almost ready to start working in about a month's time. Yes, yeah, so we can finally build a military station. It cost me 170. Damn, that's expensive. Okay, then. Since this is going to be a planetary center, I'm going to put the station right there. Because I'm going to colonize this place. In fact, when will I be able to build a colony ship? Uh, in a while. Construction complete. Awesome. Now that's way cheaper now. Awesome job. You've completed building that. Let's uh, send you home. So that'll be a very good way to stop our enemies here first. Still lacking resources, no. Come on. A few more months. Okay, one of our scientists has gone up. System surveys over, nice. Uh, okay. You've surveyed all of that. 
Come survey over here, please. I want to tie up this section of space as well before they do. Just drive a huge wedge through them. Take out this section, capture here and here as well. Kind of squeeze around and surround them all. Because right now I'm getting surrounded. And I need to do something about that quickly before it's too late. So I got a military station here. Ideally, I need another one here in my space, here, and here, and here to effectively block all routes into my domain. Will I be able to do it though? I doubt it. Before battle commences, at least. Maybe during, but not before. I can see the I can see the enemy encroaching on my land, their influence. I'll <laughs> leave that to be straight away because that is an incredibly tough anomaly to take out. Man, so close, just one more month away. Come on, here we go. Nice. Ooh, ooh, that's a great. Ooh. Rare technology indeed. I'm going to go for you, and I'll get a bonus to it because of my New World's ability, my expertise. Nice. I like very much. So that's going to take about roughly three minutes to do. System survey complete. Not bad. Can you please continue to survey this direction? Now I'm going to move my fleet through here, see what I can find. Because these guys are the biggest threat at the moment. Oh, they're not fully upgraded. Stuff that, send them back. Yeah. They're not ready yet. Okay. Speed up the time. do something quick we're gonna hedge in and then beat them down system survey complete nice survey that system now please Hostile fleet presence. Ah, uh, autonomous drones. These guys will be a problem. Leave it. What research? Ah, green shard throw a nice. Let's go for the sentinel point defense. Cage is like, I don't give a crap. System survey complete. Anomaly. Uh, research. I 
I need you to come here and build another res another military port. Okay, so we've found all the habitable worlds that we can. Cool. I don't want this ship getting murdered, so I'm gonna set it to evasive. Glancing hit. While approaching Nesum for the Ed Lerod Declaw easily uh, suddenly received a glancing hit by several passing mass driver rounds. Their projectiles were billions of years old. And based on their trajectory, they appear to be stray rounds fired from a neighboring galaxy. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for untold millennia. Until today, the rounds we've recovered are of an advanced design despite their incredible age. Nice. Hey, we have a colony ship. We want to take a colony ship down to... Najaga and colonize Najaga 3. <clears throat> <clears throat> Nice, nice. You've completed another military station for me. Go survey that planet. You come here, make another station. Wow, it already got down here. And it's already starting to colonize. Detail on that ship is awesome. We have a new colony. Nice. The first Gox colony. Our colony ship is gently touched down at the top of a large flat mesa near the equator of Bluek. This location will serve as serve well as a first landing site, and the rivers that flow in the canyons below provide easy access to fresh water. The ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement, and its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive Hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. The first Gox city on an alien world. Hooray! So it's going to take 10 months to do for them to colonize it completely, but that'll be great. What is that? Oh, just the Leviathans again. Let's go to the spaceport and build a new Corvette, the only one of its kind. No, I know it's a bit slow today trying to build up but sometimes you have to do it research complete we have finished researching that spaceport level three nice Ooh, anti-matter missiles early this early would be great construction complete yeah let's do it do we have somebody that's good at rocketry no, but this person is a spark of genius. Spaceport at Yadro is done. 
creating a new ship. System survey complete. There's our oversized Corvette. The Axie Cat. Okay, we got some more aliens. We're invading stuff, blah, blah, blah. Okie dokie. Well then, let's send our newly established fleet with its new vessel down to test itself out. Deal with those aliens that are stopping us from scanning all the different systems. Ooh, we have a negative balance. Not good. It's because of that colony. It's taking eight of our energy per turn. I mean per month. New contact. Okay, greetings from the Besedin Galactic Council. We are a democratic nation committed to upholding the individual freedoms of our citizens. Our elected leader, President Faragalek, hopes for a long and productive re relationship with your people. Okay, we will fight for our right to exist, Besedon. Where are they? Holy crap, all the freaking way down there. How did they ever get in contact with us is beyond me. Let's uh, establish an embassy with them, okay. Offer a trade deal. How about... Um, star charts for my star charts. I'll give you energy. Come on, man. Why is it getting worse? That's a lot of freaking energy, buddy. I'll give you some minerals. I can't give you a lot. Come on, man. How about that? that hostile fleets Ooh. I think we're gonna be outmatched here at the moment oh this is a, a oh, what is it one of those um, clouds I can't remember oh it's slaughtering them now Go home, guys. Fix yourselves up. Science ship coming in research. And then... Uh, do that. Survey the system and whatnot. Did I just see an enemy ship in there? I think I did. You come here, survey the system. Need you to build me a military hub. Not here, actually, because you already did one. 
Um, move there. Build your military station. Potentially there. Let's take a look at our new colony. How are things going? Not bad. They're raising up pretty well, I think. Yep. They're definitely fairly happy. If we speed up a little bit, we'll be able to pop a spaceport in there. Okay, this is a very rare technology. Okay. I'm going to go with a laser. Reanalyze, cool. Strike. Uh, this ship, construction ship, yep, cool. Sorry, hang on a sec. Jeez. Uh, come here. Build. Get a few more Corvettes. Uh -oh. Yep, we need to build up now because they're going to start coming for us. Three more months and we'll get that. Okay, we're starting to push them back a little bit. Our borders are going up against again against the Galactic Commonwealth here. Got another scientist leveling up. Oh, they're expanding. I don't like that. Yep, they got three colonies now. Crap. They've got two. Not good. System survey complete. Nice, nice, nice. Come here and survey this system, please. <laughs> Build me another Corvette. Green shard thrower. Yeah, I'll put that instead of the lasers. Save. Forty seconds away. Let's click upgrade. Investigate those Kappa aliens while we can, I guess. Still building the military stations like a good construction ship. I didn't tell him to build one here, did I? Whoops. System survey complete. Nice. Construction complete. Okay. Science ship, what can you do for me?
you can't help out there. <laughs> uh, come and survey this place then. Okay, they're already upgrading, nice. Research it. I want my construction ship to come down back to the home system and orbit this place. I need to save up for another colony ship because I need to colonize another world, otherwise they're gonna start to really just get way over the top and be too powerful for me to defeat. And that'll be really bad. Our upgrades on our ships are nearly complete. this expanding their territory adrift among the asteroids surrounding 91f-038 we've discovered an alien ship adrift it is not responding to our attempts to hail them this is due to not being able to interpret our signal or some other reason we do not know. Science officer Dakinolex recommends that we get a construction ship to tow it out of the debris field. If left untouched, it risks being crushed by the asteroids. A special project has been issued. I could scrap it, but I'm intrigued. Situation log updated. What is that? Pirates. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Okay. I found the pirates. Let's come and get them. They're in the Yunduck system. Check that space, like, asteroid outpost out. Very clever. Ingenious, really. Special project complete. Funny, I've got a. <laughs> ah, that's right, void clouds. Situation log updated. It's funny that I've got a um, research complete military facility right nearby, and <laughs> it's just not even interfering with it. Nice hydroponic farm level two. Um. You know what I'm gonna do? Galactic ambitions. Here comes my fleet coming in to destroy the dirty rotten pirates. Science ship under attack. Whoa, what the? No, you do. No, not my science ship. What are you doing, you stupid pirates? Filthy pirates attack my science ship. How dare you? Go, patch up. Special project complete. <sighs> they will not stand in our way. So we're going to go on a void cloud hunt. And we 
lost another ship. We always seem to just lose one. Annoyingly enough. Oh, by the way, in the middle of your battle, we're just going to talk to you. I respect, I represent the associated Rothak nations. Our elected leader, Consul Loxodel. <laughs> That's my uh, admiral's name. Funny. We would have you know that we are more than capable of defending our way of life. Do not interfere with our affairs, aliens. <laughs> we will fight for our right to exist, Rothak. Okay, go home, fix yourselves. Once the ship drifting by 91F-38 has been towed out of the debris, we could send in an away team to investigate. It is a murder scene. Only one crew member has been found. A long-eared amphibian biped who appears to have been stabbed repeatedly. The ship is, by the death of its crew, up for grabs. It is fitted with efficient thrusters, the structure and design of which are beyond us at present. The vessel is not armed, seemingly having, have, having been used as a transport for important personnel. Repurposing it into an exploration vessel would be a minor undertaking. However, if we intend to deconstruct it and study the engines in greater detail, we could maybe capture some of its genius and translate it into practical improvements for our fleet. Ooh. Tear it down and study the engines. Return home, buddy. Awesome. So the filthy young duck pirates are gone. And we are victorious. Mm. Let's upgrade our farming facilities. System survey complete. Thank you. Now come back here and research the battle uh, debris, please. So science ship has been fixed. My best guess at this point is that we have something new here to make it faster. I don't really understand. Ooh, we have a destroyer class now. Green shot thrower. Nice. Okay, we got that on lockdown. Let's get some power in ya. Okay, we got enough power to run it. Nice. Change up the fusion reactors to level two. Try and 
transport ship, huh? Didn't know I could upgrade these. Well, I guess I will. Defense platform. Let's turn those lasers into shard throwers. Agreed. Analyzed. Thank you. Now, survey the system, please. Crystalline entity, huh? Just need a little more minerals and then I can Anomaly found. leave it be and then I can produce a spaceport for my second colony. Evading hostile fleet. Yeah, how about no? Get him. Hostile fleet engaged. Come back here. Okay, we got this. And we're ripping them apart now that we're using their own technology against them. Oh, we got some more aliens to investigate. Nice. Construction complete. We didn't lose anything. After you do that, <laughs> so go there and survey the system, please. All right, you're okay doing that. Before I go, I want to at least start constructing a new, <laughs> new, um, a new colony ship. So we're a little short on resources. It's going to take us a few months, but we'll get there. Need a level three spaceport for that. Hmm. Got fifty four months left on the clouds lightning. System survey complete. Cool, good job. Debris analyzed. Now come and survey this place. Where did you find the debris? Not bad. Uh, 
Uh, they have three, two. There's this people. We have three as well. And we have that. Okay. Let's put a embassy in with them. Don't particularly want to anger them. Our fleet has been repaired. Is there anyone they can go beat up on? Yes, there is. After successfully translating their language, we have established communications with the Neverite hierarchy. Diplomatic channels are now open and hostilities are, have been terminated. Oh, what are you? I speak on behalf of the Neverite hierarchy and I have been authorized to bring you greetings. As long as you stay out of our internal affairs and treat our great leader, Empress Hingaroth I, with Reverence, I see no reason for our diplomatic relations to sour. And as the usual response says, we're going to tell you um, this is our place, stay out. Let's uh, establish an embassy with them. System survey complete. Hostile, please engage. Okay, you've surveyed your system, nice. Keep surveying systems. The Neverite hierarchy is there, we're getting further and further hedged in. I don't like it. We're annihilating this mining station. Updated. Go back, repair yourselves. Unemployment, huh? Oh, we found an ancient alien civilization. Cool. What do I need the most? Mining. I need minerals. Let's upgrade you. Okay. Spaceport. We just lack enough for a colony ship. Oh, no That's governor here. I should have done that a long time ago. recruit this governor. Um, Wisdom survey complete. Let's do propaganda. We've got antimatter missiles, nice. I'm going to go for the advanced spaceport and change the scientists back to this one so I get an even bigger bonus. The system has finally finished being surveyed. Let's survey over here then. And we're very close to being able to build that ship. Let's put propaganda up on here as well. <clears throat> Okay, we're starting to need more money for that because our uh, existing fleet was already under 
getting destroyed. So what's the difference between them at the moment? I see, so these people are less militaristic than the originals. That's okay. You're always going to have some kind of um, group of people who are a little pacifistic. System survey complete. Nice. Now, come up here, please, and survey this system. <laughs> Just build ourselves up a bit more. Once we get that colony ship set on course, that's when I'll have to end the episode. Okay, they've got a new rival. Oh, their influence is creeping over. I don't like that. If I'm to be the dominant species in this area of space, I need as much planets as I possibly can. the missiles. Defense platform already has them, okay. Getting pretty close to having enough, just not quite enough yet. Construction complete. Not bad. So I'm really annoyed by that. Oh, we found another empire. Great. The, I come with a message from revered elder Orp Fleur, the elected leader of the Democratic Zithorian League. Damn, you're ugly. We believe in the right of all sentient beings to fulfill their individual spiritual needs, and we brook no alien interference in this matter. You'll find yourself no match for us, Zitharanis. Where are they? Here? Great. Need to claim as much planets as I can before they do. That's why I'm so desperate to colonize.
it's kind of ironic, you know, that um, <laughs> my people are called the Gox Centralized Planets because at this point we're really the center, so the center of all of these planets, you know. Construction complete. We're at the center of the, all of this. We got ourselves a new colony ship. System survey complete. Evading hostile fleet. Lovely. Okay, I've definitely made my decision here. Although I could potentially get more planets this way, it's better for my people to come here just at this point. Let's colonize right there. Yes, I know, we're in a negative balance, blah, blah, blah. Research that anomaly, please. Where's this? Embassy established. We aim to establish an embassy on Nebaroya in the future for the future betterment of the blah blah blah. Cox diplomacy. Debris. And then they terminated it. <laughs> nice. Okay, you're already doing it cool. Good to know. Hold the phone, you guys don't have antimatter missiles on you. Now, how about this? Upgrade. How are my neighbors doing? Superior to us. Fragmented nations. Ah, uh, this is the people that they said I should take an interest in. Right. Well then, can you build me a outpost here? Oh, that's a very profitable planet, I mean system to have. How is colonization efforts going? Fairly well. Gifferak. Sail solar Sailor. We've discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Kiram 5. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteor meteorite, which appears to have disabled the, the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. Nice. Uh, come over this way, Cal. The upgrades are nearly done.
wonder how much their power will spike after they get the antimatter missiles. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. A little, not as much as I'd hoped. <laughs> Let's produce a spaceport over here. Yeah, try it. Okay, my colony is nearly established. We have two months left, and that should go very quickly. How's our research doing? 33 months, 18 months, and 16 months. Good, we're on track. I'm a little worried about how quickly my app, uh, peas are spreading out around me. Like these guys are starting to totally block off all areas through there. We've gotten a report from Science Officer Mixeridem. It seems that a ceramic container... Um, I know that this doesn't do anything for us. I've come across it before, so I'll take the influence. Nice. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so what are you doing now, buddy? I want you to come down here and survey that system, if you please. All right, now I'm going to call the episode here. I'm going to save our game. We'll come back later, likely tomorrow, to the Gox people and continue to push out against our surrounding peers. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode today and my name is edogs82 and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!